Hey, what's up, good people? I'm QC. Welcome to this mini podcast for talking and grumping as I recap the NFC Championship game. The LA Rams are on their way to the Super Bowl for the first time in 18 years as they defeat the New Orleans Saints 26-23 in overtime on the road at the Superdome. Jared Goff proved that he wasn't afraid of the moment as he finished with 297 yards, a touchdown, and interception. Now Ty Gurley and CJ Anderson were held in check after having hella games against the Cowboys in the NFC division playoffs but the receiving game made up for it led by former New Orleans Saints and New England Patriot Brandon Cooks as he finished with 107 receiving yards also Josh Reynolds finished with 74 receiving yards Drew Brees had a pretty nice game he finished with 249 yards two touchdowns and an interception which was the interception to John Johnson over time which ultimately cost the Saints the game and a trip down I-75 to the Super Bowl in Atlanta. Alvin Kamara was held in check in the running game but he made up for it in the passing game with 96 yards. Michael Thomas was definitely held in check this game. He finished with only 36 receiving yards. Now this NFC championship had a little controversy late in regulation as cornerback Nickel Roby Coleman for the LA Rams got away with a blatant pass interference by committing a helmet to helmet hit on Saints receiver Tommy Lee Lewis. And the refs dropped the ball by not throwing the yellow flag. And the refs dropped the ball by not throwing the yellow flag. But the Saints had plenty of chance to win this game. Where they messed up is Sean Payton kept on staying with the run instead of letting Breeze pass a little bit more. Plus, the Saints secondary let the wide receivers go off in this game, especially Brandon Cooks, who definitely had it on his mind to stick it to his old team. But I gotta give a lot of props to the Rams for showing a lot of poise on the road in a hostile environment. Despite the fact being down the whole game, they never quit, they never got rattled, They stuck to the game plan on both sides of the ball. I definitely got to give credit to the Rams defense. Adama Kinsu had a hell of a game. He had four tackles and he also got a sack on Drew Brees. They also did a great job of shutting down his main weapons at Alvin Kamara and Michael Thomas. I even got to give the Rams special teams a lot of credit, especially their kicker Greg Zerline, who kicked the game-winning 57-yard field goal to send the Rams to the Super Bowl. But I definitely got to give credit to their head coach, Sean McVay, because it all starts with him as well as his coaching staff. He's proven that he can really coach in this league. Now he has one more game to prove that he belongs on the pantheon of great coaches like Bill Belichick, Vince Lombardi, the late Bill Walsh, and the late Chuck no. Anyways, that's my recap of the NFC Championship. Stay tuned for my Super Bowl 53 preview coming up soon. Leave your comments in the comment section below. Till next time, y'all have a good one. Love y'all to life. QC out. What's up good people, it's QC once again. Now that you saw the video, subscribe to the channel. When you do, click on the bell icon so that way you won't miss any new videos from me and be mad. Let your family and friends miss those videos and let them be mad. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram, like me on Facebook. Thanks for watching.